Hey folks, in this video, we will explain how to add a terms and condition screen to the login flow and the property to the user profile that states the user has accepted our terms and conditions. Let's get started. Navigate to Applications and Applications and choose the application type Machine to Machine Applications. Provide a name for the application and click on Create. This application will update the user metadata and store the information that the user has accepted the terms and conditions. We need to give access to the Auth0 Management API and grant the permissions, read users, update users, create users, read users app metadata, update users app metadata, and create users app metadata. Once we have added all these permissions, authorize the application. Now, let's create the Vault connection. The Vault connection allows you to securely store information from these applications, which we will use later to add the user metadata. From the Auth0 dashboard, navigate to Actions and Forms. Select the tenant name, click Vault, and then add a Vault connection. Select Auth0 and provide a name for the connection. Add the tenant domain and the client ID and secret. The client ID and secret will be displayed on the application that was created earlier. Once the vault has been created, we can return to the form screen to create the form from scratch. The form screen has different steps. It starts with a start node, a step node in the middle, and an ending screen. We are going to add a legal component to our step node. As you can see, the legal component allows you to add a legal policy. We can customize this component by adding our description to the policy. If needed, we can add a link to our terms and conditions policy by using the link option and entering the URL to the policy. Once complete, save and publish the form. Now we will add a flow node to our new form. The flow node allows you to add logic to the form. We are going to use this node to update the user app metadata. We need to make sure that the node is properly connected to the other nodes. In our example, we have added the flow after the legal step and connected it to the ending screen. Let's start customizing the flow. If you do not already have a flow created, we will create one now. Provide a name and description for the flow. Confirm that the newly created flow is showing in the flow drop-down field and edit the flow. We can now start adding the logic that will update the user metadata. Select the plus, and on the list of actions, select update user. Provide an alias and select the vault connection that we created earlier. For the user ID, enter context.user.user underscore ID. This text is available in the YouTube description to copy and paste along with the code for the body section. This code will update the user metadata by adding a privacy policy property set to true if the user has accepted the terms and conditions. Save the changes and publish. Now that the flow is published, go back to the form editor and save and publish. Once we have finished editing our form, we can go to the render tab and copy the code that will help us render our form in the login flow. To render it, we need to create a post login action that renders the flow. Navigate to Actions and Flows and we will build a new post login action from scratch. We create our post login action, delete the code created by default, and paste the code we copied from the render. This code renders our form, but we need to add the condition asking if the user has already accepted the terms and conditions. So we are going to display the form only if the user hasn't accepted the terms and conditions. The if statement displayed will do that. Once we finish adding the logic, we deploy our action, go back to the flow, add our new action to the flow, and apply the changes. Let's test it out. We will navigate to the login page and create a new user to ensure that the user has not accepted the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions are displayed and we will accept it and continue. If we check the user profile in the Auth0 dashboard, we can see on the JSON tab under the app Metadata that the privacy policy has been set to true since the user accepted it. That's it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube. 